from the Open women's single skulls to the Open men's uh, single skulls. We saw earlier the first semi-final, and now it's the second semi-final. We have two great competitors here. Um, we have Bastian Secker from Denmark and David Bartolt, Australia. So it'll be really interesting to see how these go. These are two scholars with really strong international ambitions. Bartolo was so impressive yesterday beating the American Ben Davidson and overturning the results of, of the World Cup order. And here we have Bastian Secker, so with uh, Surrey Nielsen taking some time out at the moment, he has been very impressively stepping into that space and, you know, a real scholar to watch. So Gwyn Batten, I think the umpire there, just warning David Bartholz to stay on his station, and just make a tiny course correction there. Should have the experience of 26 years old and um, lots of international experience there to uh, correct gently and safely. And the Australian has an early lead uh, in this semi-final of the Diamonds. David Bartholz again, yeah, so impressive. Uh, you know, he... He's really enjoying himself here. He's been selected as the reserve for the Australian double this year, coached by Lyle McCarthy. But, you know, I think he has actual some aspirations on potentially becoming a sing the single scholar. Um, they've had some injuries. Um, the moment the, the current single scholar has gone back to, to Australia to recover. So, you know, he's having a great Henley. So we joined the race live now. That uh, delay earlier has given us a bit of compressed schedule. So we've jumped uh, forward in time, um, but we still see David Bartholdt from Australia out in front as we're starting to see him entering the enclosure area and see the boats filling out the booms over his shoulders on one side and on the other side. The banks are absolutely packed with rowing fans enjoying some of the world's best racing from top class athletes here at Henley the Mile in the eighth. Uh, and the number two shows lane two, the Buckinghamshire station and David Bartold of Australia now with some margin over Bastian Secker from Denmark. So they are overturning what happened again in, in Poznan. So Bartolo is rewriting history in his races here where Bartolo, he was able to win the B final in the World Cup 2 in Poznan. Uh, but Bastian Secker, you know, really put himself on the map when he was fourth in the A final of uh, the Poznan World Cup. He's an incredible athlete, 5.47 on the ergo. Anyone going underneath 5.50, uh, you know, you're in serious physiology territory and so we'll see can he can he bring that to bear he just has not been able to get back on terms he's powering away he's giving it absolutely everything but Bartolo is maintaining his dominance yeah Bartolo's had a fantastic skull hasn't he Cass really yeah. strong skull really strong athlete and a smile on his face too we've had smiling winners of the last two races and he allows himself a smile even though the pressure is still on it's not done until he crosses the line. It's never done in this event more than anywhere. You can get a big change in speed and a little look back from Bastian Secker, but I think he knows he can't get the better of David Bartolo today. So that is a victory of David Bartolo of Australia over Bastian Secker from Denmark in the Diamond Challenge Skulls, booking a place in tomorrow's final at Henley, Sunday at Henley's finals day. So that's the Diamonds and a booking for tomorrow.